Bit weird for isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're on. We've had a mega response across Facebook and Instagram. Thanks to everyone seriously. Not the questions have been been funny. We've had a laugh reading through them. Ones like, uh, "Why do I sweat so much?" <laughs> Are you really a rat? What was this other one? Why do you have speaking such a weird English? <laughs> Ironic. But the first one. Made the cut. Yeah. Which is a big one, but it's why we're here. It's why. It's what set the situation going. Why do you love bikes? Oh man. What's not to love? I don't know. That's. Uh, why do I love bikes? My life evolves around them pretty much, but uh, just for smiles it puts on people's faces. Just like more than bikes, no, no, it? no time do I spend seeing my friends as happy as when we're all just sessioning a jump, new shit is going down, and for sure, bro. Favorite place to ride. In a lot of places. Spoil for sure, like travelling all over. Um depends on what what machine done it really, but uh oh man. I think the place I'm most excited to get back to is Brightling. Brightling spot. <laughs> yeah. Crazy progression gone now. Yeah. You got some tricks to Been catch up on. <laughs> and me. Right, the one that a lot of people wanted to hear. What shampoo and conditioner? <laughs> <laughs> All natural, baby. All natural. Oh, been, uh, been on the get it wet when I have my <laughs> weekly shower for a couple of years. and Yeah. I love that. That's good and bad days. Why did you cut your hair to the bowl? Um, well, we... When we the boys all decided to make the pilgrimage to Whistler, and uh, <laughs> it was called haircuts, wasn't it? Yeah. And I, for some reason, was just like, we got a mad bowl. Like everyone went for mullets, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the bowl. Just invented it. it. <laughs> just fancied it, and yeah, uh, off it went. So. So we're on your boat. Have, have you given your boat a name? Well, my, she's called Betty Blue. That is her name. That's what I bought it off Andy Kiffin as Betty Blue. But then I was like, well, I was hyped up. I was going to change it to Black Betty because it's just changing the colour. Not the name, yeah. you know what I mean. And uh, never got round to. Mum actually sent off a certificate and the name of about is gotta Black do, Betty. You got to do it that officially. Yeah, yeah officially, but. Still says Betty Blue on the side, so she's in limbo, but she doesn't know what colour she is. But Betty Black Blue. She's definitely <laughs> Betty's Black and Blue. Definitely Betty. Uh, and this is one that I love to find out about, it's still about votes, but do you travel on it? Explain that one. Um, yeah, I haven't actually been out on mine too far this year, but um, there's always some boat related mission going down. Pretty slow. slow Pretty ground. steady going, yeah. Last year I went to get it painted in Nantwich and uh, that took three days to get there from Mac, which is like a 40 minute drive. So <laughs> <laughs> it's steady going. Good for downtime. Yeah. This one I liked. If guys want to ride the best spots in the UK, this is, I presume, from a non UK resident. Which parks or spots would you re or spots would you recommend? Mm. Well, wicked question. I thought. Yeah, um, got to check out Rev when the lines open for sure. Black Mountains, definite. It's good, isn't it? There's big spots yeah. popping up. Good for jumps. Uh, uh, oh man, there's just so many local little scenes and like 
tiny spots everywhere, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Everyone like seems you, to... everyone's got their own things all over the place. But if you don't, you need to get on with some locals and yeah. Your history with Santa Cruz pops up, so I think you're coming into your tenth year now. Is it? Is yeah. it? Yeah. We're in 2007. Coming in 17 of your tenth year. Do you know what? I think it's already. This probably is my tenth year. Nah, because I was on a, uh, before June. Oh, wow. I rode him. Yeah, yeah. So syndicate. Maybe next year. Seventeen. I don't know. Years, bro. I think it's probably eleven years. Fifteen when I started riding him. Something. I think. Fifteen. So eleven years, man. Yeah. How how did you get on Santa Cruz? What was the story behind that? Obviously, when Steve's involved, but yeah, yeah, kids are always, always asking, "How do I get sponsored?" And it's always good to hear. Well, I think I probably had quite a um, a fortunate situation to begin with. Like my old man was good friends with Andy Kiffin, who was Steve's mechanic at the time, so we sort of knew him anyway. Um. He'd come round like and he'd ring him round when I was a kid and I'd just be like freaky. And uh then he give me Pete he give give me a kit when I won my first race. He gave me a Troy Lee kit. Troy Lee? Yeah, what he bought right from the States. And uh still got that kit man, treasured it. Got a big rubber mark up one leg from where I overshot this jump at in us <laughs> and went straight over bars. Yeah. And um Yeah, so then so then uh What was it? How did he get sponsored at all or just get on Santa Cruz? Just yeah. So rode for Royal Rode for Royal for a bit, Royal Orange, with Brendan and Mark. Oh, and I think crew. Donnie had left when I got on. But, um, yeah, man, when I was younger, I used to go to a pier cycles race. Rich Barlow would be there, and Donnie just like, being in that stealth grey royal kit, just like, the bad man, yeah, yeah. for sure, like, all oh, the little kids just looking up to him. So then, when Petey changed from Orange to Santa Cruz, I was riding Orange at the time, on that royal team, and he was like, um, Orange really happy with you, and Santa Cruz was a was an option for a frame deal there as well. So whichever way you want to go, Sick. and Orange had been wicked, man. But then Steve's like going this way, so I was like, I've got Still to check it out. Wings. Yeah, Still yeah, wings. fully. And uh, yeah, I got my first white V10 and silver jackal. I think big, when big I was fifteen, yeah, like that whale mad front yeah, end yeah. on it. Substantial piece of kit <laughs> that Yeah, wicked. Here we are. Here we are. Throughout them years then. The best what's the one that stands out? That is a good yeah, question. Paint job or memories on it. Mm. Well oh, man, I've had such wicked bikes. I think a good one for me was a blur TR, that was when like... Oh, uh, what the... Trail bikes got a bit aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And it were carbon, 26 inch, such... That one with green stripe down. Green, yeah, yeah man. Oh. Like you did, yeah. So that one stands out as like a real fun... When XE bikes got good. Yeah. So again, I've been spoiled with so many sick bikes. When, when I first joined the syndicate, they used to... Doug would hand... Um, like mask the frames and it was the most intricate skulls oh, and skull, trees yeah, yeah, that was coming in like it went red, white, black yeah. and all he did that by hand oh man like yes. Dougie Fresh that. putting the hours in and then um, and then um, what's his name I was telling you about him the other day the fella from Santa Cruz uh, where, where are we going? Yeah, them <laughs> bikes, I was what went into them, bro. Yeah. Serious. They were sick. And I, I don't, really I don't even still. think I've got one anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, yeah, and fresh, yeah. Fresh on my team, fresh getting them custom bikes. So, uh, so still a young oh, kid. I think I snuck in at the shop, bro. 
Who was your inspiration growing up with riding? Um, a lot of people, mate. Like still today, yeah, like, yeah, I guess you take from everyone, that. don't you? Yeah. But a standout memory for me was uh, going to a bike show. I think it was bike two thousand at the NEC. Might have been bike two thousand around that sort of time, and uh, it was when it was like the speed trial dual. I think it were a dual speed trial course, yeah. and Akrig was like a right at the end was like a car what were like smashed in windows <laughs> with some sort of gri grills on them, and uh, he was like leading his race or whatever, hits the car, boosts and just chucks a little flatty on his trial <laughs> setup, and just like, so, oh man, that stuck with me, and then seeing stuff of him in MVUK jumping the canal, when I was like, that wasn't even on my radar, well, well you know, I'd think yeah. like, but there's no way I'd do it. I think Akrig's a big one, mate. It's more Sorry. and more these days yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Gets, gets creative, yeah. rides what he sees. The originator. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite Vanzac. Favourite Vanzac. That's you, can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, I'm man. Wildest Vanzac. Wildest Vanzac. Wildest Vanzac. It's got to be Jacko, hasn't it? Hands down. Hands down, just <laughs> <laughs> needed release it. <laughs> Big up Jacko. Big Set up 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 up. What three downhillers would you take to a bar? Oh man. So no. What three downhillers would I take to a bar? Stevie man, gotta be Stevie. Stevie one. Stevie Gavaric. Oh, it just sounds like Maribo after you know, eight or whatever. Stevie Kavari and um, Fabian Pedimano. Really? And yeah, bro. I'm sure. Never met him, never Recreate a Maribo scene, which was <laughs> beyond words. Say no more, brother. Say no more. What would you be doing if it wasn't <coughs> mountain biking? Well, probably motorbikes. Probably kind of. Some sort it's got to be two wheels, hasn't it? Or four. Preferably two. So, we had, there was a wiki question. First part we'll get onto in a bit, but the second part, obviously, you've helped, me, you've helped loads of people out more than you realise. But have you got any plans for helping youngers coming up? Any hashtags? Keep down in the wild. Like, you know, there's like Sam Cafano. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in the future, definitely, I would like to give back, for sure. Um, do, yeah, do more stuff like that. Um, Be I, I, to yeah, get, get, get some kids together at Bike Oh, Park. man, definitely, yeah, definitely. I think, um, and just supporting the local scene, like, is important. Sam Cafano, like going, to, going to Farmer John's, a local thing. Yeah. That, there's a lot of young talent from round here goes there, and um, yeah, sure. People are asking about Austin. a drink. Well, yeah, so I can. Uh, are they? Yeah. Are they? Wicked. Explain a bit about drink water. Yeah. So um, in the winter of 2014, when I decided to not continue a monster anymore. Um, or it might have been in the following season, 2015. Anyway, Austin, I just got a. Uh, um, Austin slipped into my <laughs> DM. <Yeah. laughs> oh, his wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> the radical businessman, <laughs> and said, uh, "Respect for your move. Um, can we send you some stuff? And basically, drink water just." Um, some snowboarders, a wicked group of snowboarders who were on the sort of, do you know, how would you, how would you describe it? Like, it's not like, just not putting, not the anti energy drink, like, yeah, hate, yeah. not the hate going down, but, um, just awareness, just like, awareness yeah, be aware of it, like, yeah. that, all that marketing. 
bullshit and you I think can fall takes, into. It's a big move to take that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, at the expense of your health at the end yeah. of the day, isn't it? Like, yeah, big up, drink water. So yeah, and uh, we'll be got in buzz off what we're about. Yeah. Feel the, totally the same way. And, Saving plastic. And um, yeah, them carry them bottles we was everywhere. Fill them up before we go. Like plastic, I've cut down on in a couple of years from them. It's wicked. Yeah. And just scarred up, sticking up. <laughs> she made it. Yeah, with age it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> What's the secret to doing super sick bike stunts? <laughs> <laughs> what is the secret? I want to know. I want to know. I Tell me. It, mate, you've been doing some super Tell sick me. bike stunts lately. Do you like pickled onions? <laughs> pickled onions? Yeah, I'll eat a pickled onion. Good on Get it down. Onion. Onion. Another one, brown or red sauce. Depends what it's on, doesn't it? Was in the rule in like bacon and egg brown, bacon red. Is that how it goes? Makes sense. I've heard <laughs> <laughs> I've heard threats of buddies being put through butty shop windows for having that brown. Really? Way out. <laughs> oh. I can't even remember which way it is, but could be a dangerous <coughs> Swing both ways, mate. Could be a dangerous move. <laughs> right, so past President, let's talk about your future. It's no big secret what's going down, is it? After uh, <coughs> Claudio's official, Claudio official, <laughs> official release, amongst other poor jokes. Official bow release. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so. What is your plans? People are worrying, aren't they, that they're going to lose the favourite rider or whatever, but that's not the case. No, it? no, not at all. Just, just uh, stepping away from a World Cup. Is all like more motiv motivated than ever to just just ride and progress and just sort of something I don't know. I just felt a change this year and I was like, I'm not that down racing World Cups anymore. I don't know what it was and I tried my best all year to get into it and like it, my style didn't like because I'm a chilled riding style guy. Yeah. Like it doesn't help people thinking I won't put an effort in, but no doubt going after yeah, it. Right, and like finishing in Val de Sol with a 15th, I was so buzzing down that track, I was like... Yeah, and from an inside point of view, you were nervous, weren't you? Yeah, for well. sure. And um, So yeah, I just decided to move away from the World Cup, but there's loads of events and projects I've got in mind, and uh, yeah, man, excited, just so well fun. excited, and loving riding more than ever, and yeah. A few questions were like Enduros, Fest, stuff like that, like what? Yeah, yeah, well we'll see, totally just sort of, just rolling with it. I, I mean, I do want to do a couple of Enduros, uh, a couple of Crankworks, so yeah, so we'll see what happens, I mean. More, more I've, than like, ever, just finished the season and everyone's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know, I just don't really want to race World Cups, it was all I knew. And then we went straight to that road trip. And then, yeah. just like being here, there and everywhere, I'm just like, I don't know, I just want to ride, like, I just want to ride loads. And, uh, yeah. Like footage that we're going to stack. For sure. We'll work on that. Exciting times. So, <laughs> the, name what you know now, what would you change about the World Cups? Name what I know now. Well, um, I think... What's, what's been tough for me was like when I came into it I mean obviously I've progressed so much as a rider since my first year in 2007 but like I'd get to a World Cup track man Vigo it'd be like three or four sections on the track I'd be shitting it just like I've got to try and hold that line together like yeah. just nervous for and just like getting in a zone just to and then each year it seems to be like there's been less and less of that happening and it'd be down to like it'd be one or two scary tracks a year or it'd be one or two scary sections. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like really it it's like it's a fantastic spectacle. Whenever I'm at the bottom, which has been so ace this year, like watch you can watch a replay but yeah, you're yeah. not there are you? And when I've been coming down earlier because of been having punctures in quality and stuff or just like watching the 
watching the show, yeah, I have man. absolutely buzzed off it because I've never like the last year or two I've been at the top, so you don't yeah, see yeah. it as much. And so don't get me wrong, like the racing element, oh man, is crew, is, yeah. is Some you know seriously sick. Guy. Yeah, yeah. And everyone is going so hard. Like yeah. I'm on the track in practice this year, just seeing some mental stuff happen, and none of it film. You know, just like yeah. Brookie just... Mac first run, Mount Saint Anne, going, going like three times faster than anyone made it yeah. down that corner alive on the lock stops. Like oh, you can't help but buzz yeah, off yeah. that. But then, like racing wise, for me, I definitely favoured the tracks where it was like technical. Which I sound like, well, no, winning, no. winning my first World Cup at Lear Gang, <laughs> <laughs> giving it the big I love technical one, but um, the more technical the tracks are, and the harder they are, the bigger the time gaps are, which yeah. isn't, like isn't great racing for Red Bull. Yeah. You know, because Warner, now seconds. Warner's been on his, you know, have calmed him down yeah. big time. And if, if people aren't doing wild sh- stuff, they're just chatting along through it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Unless the time gaps are to get excited yeah. about. Because it's just someone railing a straight, fast, just doing like... Yeah, yeah. Just for viewing sake. For... Um, yeah, but, but you know, just bring back some more techie, harder stuff. Sladmings and jumpers. Yeah, sh- yeah. Jumpers. yeah. Make it scary again. Keep downhill wild. Keep downhill wild, exactly. So yeah, I think... Have we done it? I think we've done it, haven't we? Wicked, I was going to go get a drink, but... Well, yeah, what is perfect. there more to say? No. Um, what is there more to say? Sorry for being quiet on it all. Didn't really know what I was doing myself. That was just like, <laughs> that was the number one thing. Yeah. But going to be, yeah, still at it. and Bigger than ever, I'd say, from... Mm. From seeing what's planned. And, uh, and shout out to everyone who supports me, like, standing by me this year, like, and uh, into the future, just like, thank you, what a setup, what a setup. Wicked. <laughs> Good shit, you bro. Made it through, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we did it, started a bit awkward, but we got him. <laughs>